everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. I'm Manganet, I do book related content and sometimes not. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my list of 12 books for 2022. If you've been following me for a while, you now know that every year, in the beginning of the year, I create a list for 12 books for that year and then at the end of the year I react to that video. The reason why I react to the video is because I never reviewed that list for an entire year, which makes it kind of this game where I try to remember what's on the list and try to read it, but also it tests if I was actually really interested in reading those books that I thought I was, because if I was, I would read them, and if one year later I still haven't read them, it perhaps means that I wasn't that interested after all. I've done this video for four years now, the list and then the reaction, but this year we are doing things a little bit differently because on the last reaction video that I did, I'll leave the link here, I ended up reacting to all the videos that I've done in the past and I realized that it hasn't gone that well, especially the one for 2021, I only read 4 out of the 12 books and in part it's due to my memory sucking. So this year we are doing it differently. I'm using something that everyone's been doing on Instagram and then I did as well, which is this template of the 12 books for 2022, which are all recommendations from 12 friends. Everyone was sharing this template and asking people to do recommendations and then I was not going to do it because I was getting annoyed, as always, that everyone was sharing the same thing, but I don't remember who it was, someone from the gang who said you should do it and then do a reading vlog for them and I think there's more people doing those reading vlogs as well. So I decided to bite the bullet and we're gonna do it, I shared it, I asked for recommendations and I of course turned it into kind of a challenge, kind of a game, kind of a reading experiment, kind of everything, do you know me? And what I did was I started putting all the recommendations, I put all the first 12 there and then every time I got one after the 12th, what I had to do was that I had to mandatorily put that one recommendation that just arrived into the grade, which means I would have to pick something out and remove that and kept going for 24 hours and cover every single recommendation that came within the time period of that story before it expired. So I think that at the end I had to do three or four substitutions within the grid, but I'm actually very excited to read all these things that are here. From these 12 books I only own one on my bookshelves, so everything else I would either be buying, trying to get second-handed, perhaps listening to the audiobooks and following along with the ebook, I don't know. But my idea as well, and here's the part of the challenge, is that it's obviously 12 books. I'm determined that 2022 is going to be the year where I actually do my own challenge of the 12 books, so I'm determined to actually read these books, meaning I need to read one per month. And the challenge and the thing to keep me accountable for this is that I want to publish one reading vlog for every single one of these books on the correct month, so there will be one reading vlog in January, in February, in March, and so on and so on. The order of them will probably be whatever I'm feeling like reading in that moment, but if you have any suggestions on what kind of order I should read them in, or if there would be like a game or a rule that would decide for me which book would be, or if I should pick one at random or whatever, if you have any suggestions then of course let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to accommodate that. Now without any further delays, let's find out what are the 12 books that I'll be reading in 2022? First off, we have The Heart's Invisible Theories by John Boyne, You and Me on Vacation, The Lost Apothecary, Heart Bones, The Gunkle, Writers and Lovers, The Prince and the Dressmaker, The Contract, The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, Final Girls, The Love Hypothesis, and lastly, The Nightmare. So here we go, these are the 12 books for 2022 done differently. Let me know from these 12 books which one should I read in January, what's the first one that you want me to read, and these 12 books and these 12 vlogs are going to be spoilery vlogs, so I'm going to be sharing everything on those vlogs, what is happening, what are my thoughts, and it's going to be dedicated to the person that recommended me the book so they can have my entire opinion on the book. So, so if you have read those books already or if you have no interest, you're more than welcome to follow along with them. If you want to maybe read them before I read them, Perhaps I could just say on Instagram which book I'm going to be reading the following month, just so you can prepare yourself for that reading vlog. I don't know. Talk to me in the comments, give me suggestions. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with this, as you can see, but I'm more than welcome to receive your suggestions. And with all this being said, I'll see you very soon here on the channel with another video. Bye! Mm -hmm.